Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go through my DMs and we're going to talk about some not so good people. Let's talk about Jamble. So I got some screenshots the other day from somebody's show on Jamble. I believe her name is Peyton's Closet. Peyton's Closet. So I recognize the name. I'm like, oh yeah, she was a shit talker. She talked shit about me. Specifically, she said, got anything to say, Vanessa? Because you had a bunch to say online. Oh, I got stuff to say now, Peyton. I do. Somebody sent me screenshots and told me what you did in one of your recent shows and you're fucking gross. First of all, she was live streaming while she was driving. That's dangerous as fuck. Like, what are you doing? I don't think Jamble would allow that. I don't think they want you to risk your life and others' lives to live stream on Jamble. It's not like you were doing something productive on Jamble. You were talking shit about people with special needs and you were talking shit about homeless people. Like I said, she was live streaming while she was driving and then someone named Softest Silver commented and said, imagine there's a five car pile up behind you, L-M-A-O-O-O. Oh yeah, that's so funny. Imagine that somebody got into a car accident and got hurt because Peyton is irresponsible and uh, live streaming while she's driving. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. This is the kind of trash that is on Jamble. Okay, so apparently Peyton was talking about where she works and she specifically works with someone, I'm not gonna say his name, but she did say his name in her show, but she works with someone who has special needs and she was making fun of him. She said that he was annoying and slow and that she uses him to her advantage because he doesn't understand. You're trash. Who the fuck says that? Ayla Rice commented on her show and said, don't make fun of Sped. I don't know if she was serious. Let's hope and pray that she was serious. And she's like, hey, you know, what the fuck were you doing? There were only, yeah, there were only seven people in this live, but still, like one of those seven people should have said, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Soft is silver, the one who joked about like, oh, having a car accident and people getting hurt. That's so funny. Soft is silver said, I'm gonna block out his name because this is just terrible. But she said, least his name is good for something. This is fucking disgusting. It's fucking gross that they would talk about someone like that. I just, I. I'm so glad I'm not selling on that app anymore because I don't want to be associated with people like this. Also, you have people on the app that don't know how to follow the rules. I talked in a previous video about how Carly's Closet was doing a mystery bag show and she was breaking the rules by not telling the floor, ceiling, and average prices of the mystery boxes. She was also the one that a few months ago was selling fake Lululemon on Jamble, breaking the fucking law. And then just the other night, Jenny's Vintage Closet, we all know Jenny, right? If you don't, I'll link some videos down below that I have talking about her. She was also doing mystery bags and she wasn't saying the floor, ceiling, and average prices. But these people are still selling on the app, breaking the rules on the app and still selling on the app. Good job, Jamble. I'm telling ya, you're, you're going places. And by places, it's not up. I do have an update on the Designer Unlimited situation where Somebody, I have to like remind myself about what happened because this was from May 30th that this happened. It is now July 2nd. She won a giveaway in Designer Unlimited's show. She sent messages to them. I talked about this in two previous videos, I think, because I've already done one update on this. Well, here's another update. The last update was on June 24th and they said that they were gonna ship it out that day. She messaged them on June 25th and said, okay, so it's obvious nothing is gonna happen here. This is really disappointing, guys. And then yesterday, which was July 1st, she said, like I said, the one I never received. And then today she said, seriously, you banned me? Really? Wow, figured I'd get banned because that's how y'all operate. Good luck selling the fakes. And then they replied back and said, I removed you. And she said, you blocked me. Now you respond, uh, very disrespectful. Although I'm still in your stream. So it was said they were gonna mail it out on June 24th and here it is July 2nd. They blocked her and she still hasn't received it. That's Designer Unlimited LLC, by the way. They're part of the scam squadron, I think it's called. I'm gonna do a video. Maybe I'll do a video dedicated on just those people. So this is a message that says selling fake Lulu and admitting it. It is a video of Bella's bargain outlet. Sounds like a place. And she shows a fake Lululemon belt bag and she admits that she is selling a fake Lululemon belt bag. The tiniest bag I have is my Lululemon dupe fanny pack. It's a Lululemon dupe. Lululemon dupe but it says Lululemon, nobody would know that it's not Lululemon except me and you. Lululemon dupe, 
She said it's a dupe, first of all. Remember, there's a difference. There's a difference between a dupe and a counterfeit item. A dupe is something that is um, inspired. I don't I don't like using that word, but it's, it's inspired by something. Let's say you had a belt bag that looked like a Lululemon belt bag, but it didn't have the Lululemon logo. That's a dupe. If you have a Lululemon belt bag that has a Lululemon logo and it's not authentic, that's a counterfeit. What am I doing? Those words are not interchangeable. This message says, another scumbag selling fake ass bags. Those zippers, how do they continue to get sales? So this is a Poshmark listing where, yep, that bag is fake. But I'm gonna show you guys something crazy in a second. I have a video on how to tell a fake Lululemon bell bag from a real Lululemon bell bag, and I need to do an update video because the fakes are getting better. It's fucking crazy. I will show you briefly what I mean. Basically in that video I said, the sure way to tell the difference between a real bell bag and a fake bell bag is to look at the little plastic tag. I said it was to look at this little tag right here and if it's square then it is 100% real and if it's not square then it's fake no they're making fake ones with square tags now I need to do an updated video it's crazy I'll show you some proof so somebody sent me a message on Instagram and they're like hey is this belt bag fake and I'm like uh send me some pictures okay, so it's a sonic pink belt bag so immediately I know that it's fake for a couple of reasons so in this picture you can see that the zipper is in the middle so fake belt bags come that way they have like the zipper in the middle and like the zippers are kind of like uh stuck together on each side so if you were to zip that to the left it would be like a little bit like sticky like the zipper is already stuck together there does that make sense basically it looks like it's zipped up from both sides that's how the fake belt bags come so that was an immediate red flag and the silver lululemon logo is crooked oh the stitching right here look how messy that stitching is like lululemon would never now here's the tag as you can see it has a square thing one thing that was a red flag for me is um the little rope thing it's too shiny it's, it's too shiny. Also, the font is off where it says everywhere belt bag, and then it says a style number, one size. That font is off. But they are clever, and it says SNCP, which is the code for Sonic Pink. A lot of fakes spell out the color names. It would say Sonic Pink spelled out. So this bag is a really, really good fake. Those are just a couple pictures. I actually got them today, and I'm like, holy shit, the fakes are getting so much better. It's fucking crazy. Like I said, I will do an updated video, so that video is outdated now. And I didn't even make that video too long ago either. It was only like a couple months ago, wasn't it? I think, yeah, it wasn't that long ago. But I think that's it for this video. If there's anything that you want me to talk about, investigate, whatever, you can send me a message on Instagram. I do have two Instagram accounts. I have a private Instagram account, which is only for friends and family, and then I have a public Instagram account. I get requests on my private Instagram all the time. So my public Instagram will be linked in the description box. As always, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.